Hello everyone, welcome back to Stalker Lost Alpha. Well, I spent about 45 minutes before this beginning of the episode to find some supplies and information too. Oh my god, that was one hell of a journey. So, okay, here's what I did. I left the laboratory, and I went to the Sin leader, Velis. Velis, whatever his name is. And I gave the, doc the documents to him. Although he seems to still want the information from the PC, but... Nonetheless, I gave him the documents, and I found my equipment in a locker nearby, and I took it all. I don't know whether I could have taken it from the locker before, and I just never noticed, and he just doesn't care, or what, because I haven't actually completely finished all the missions he wants me to do. But, you know, whatever. Nonetheless, I uh, took my equipment back, so I've got night vision, I've got good armor, I've got my good weapon, and I have plenty of ammo. So I'm all situated there. And I discovered a couple things, too. My car was running out of fuel, so I was desperately trying to refuel it, and I just ended up Googling it. And as it turns out, uh, apparently it's possible for cars to have their, uh, I guess, like, their trunks or their backs or, like, something on the car can fall off. I I'm guessing from destruction, from, like, hitting stuff or getting shot. Like, parts of it can get destroyed, and apparently it renders the car impossible. It, it renders it impossible to refuel the car, or open up the trunk, or do anything like that, or repair it. So, th yeah, my car is totally fucked. I can't refuel it, I can't repair it, it's done. So I was trying to make the last bit of fuel last, and I found a pretty funny trick to do that, actually. It turns out, coasting is your friend. Start up the engine, get some good speed going, and then turn off the engine, and then just coast for a long time. So, yes, I learned how to maximize my fuel efficiency. Because with barely any of the tank left, I somehow managed to drive all the way down here, all the way around. I had to drive it all the way down here to here, go into the Sin leader, come back out, drive all the way back up here. And then I drove it all the way to about here before it ran out of fuel. So right before I got back to the building, where I can access the lab, it finally ran out. So, she served me well. Even though she broke. So, you know, fuck her for not being able to... Refuel it, God damn it! why did she have to break? But nonetheless, she served me well. So, respect to that little junker of a car. Also, I googled where the hell the password for the computer is, because I still have no idea. Um, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's apparently accessed somewhere from within the elevator shafts. So I need to examine those, and I do have some lights, not an amazing amount, but I bought the headlamps off of every single sin lackey that I could find when I return the documents. So I've got six of them, the one I'm wearing, and then five more. Let's do this. God damn it, that took so long. And I'm gonna have to go back to him too, and now the car's out of fuel. Ugh. I almost think the night vision makes it a little bit harder to see. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave it off for now. Okay, elevator shafts. Which are here. Apparently there's like an, a floor that you can only access from them. Or something like that. Oh, it's probably this one, the one that's closed, right? That's what I'm guessing. Okay, well, I'm impatient, so I'm going to take this route down. Oh, is it that one? Eh? 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 Ah, here we go. Is it? No, that's not it. No, 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 that's not it. It's gotta be... down here? No. That's not it. What the hell? Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is it this one? This is it, isn't it? I don't think I've been here. Yeah, god, that is really hard to find. They sure hit it well. Well, I have ammo now, so I'm gonna preemptively shoot you.
Oh yeah, this is very, very new. Which documents am I missing, by the way? Because I've heard there's a document number five. I should turn my light off. Okay, so I'm missing two, and there is apparently a five, which I think has to come from a computer, so I'm not sure where two comes from. Hmm. Maybe it also comes from a computer. There's a burr nearby. Is he down there? I don't see him. I'm just going to shoot these people, uh, in case I have something on them. Like a password. <laughs> they look so funny. Oh, there's a hand of a zombie. I'm thinking they might have a PDA on them that has the password, though. Nope, just hands. I am going to be more conservative with my batteries than I was before. That's for sure. Let's see what's down. Yes, rah rah. No little secret storage rooms now. Okay, safe to go to the ladder. Well, this goes down deep. There's gotta be secrets down here, right? No? No secrets. Oh, come on. There is absolutely nothing down here. Well, when going down doesn't work, it's time to go up. You are a feisty one, aren't you? It's amazing what a few manipulations can do. Oh, hi. I love this gun so much. Can put out so many damage, so many damage, all the damage. Ah, here we go. Oh, PDA, that's gotta be the password. And a note called Bastards All of You, redacted. <laughs> Alright, he's got an energy drink on him. Let's take a look at the PDA first. Nope, light, there we go. Admin PDA, death note. If someone is reading this, then I'm dead. The code to my PC is 9231. Please take what information you can to help eradicate the surge of mutants in the zone. 9231, okay. There we go, got it. Alright, that is document number five. Okay, so I'm just missing document number two. Where's document number two? Wait, I thought document number five came from the computer. Maybe document number two comes from the computer then. Hmm. I'm done. 
I can't do this anymore. When I enrolled in this project, all that I was told was the endless possibilities for unrestrained scientific pursuit. I wasn't told we would kill for science. I wasn't told we would be tools for governments. I wasn't told there would be no standards or decency, any forms of ethics. That's why I leave now. I'll be permanently silenced. Oh, I'm sure of it. But death sounds welcoming compared to this orgy of amorality. Shame on you all. Okay, 9231. Bingo! Ooh, I can play Tetris on this one too. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, <laughs> cycle bin is empty. Okay. Um, I believe, hold on, I think... Let me save it. I believe how you're supposed to use this document downloader thingamajig, which for some reason I have two, by the way. I don't know why I have two, but I do. There's a second one inside of my stored equipment. For some reason, uh, at the Sin Leader's base. I don't know. Uh, anyway, you use it, and then apparently that allows you to download information. My computer. It's been locked. Network. No. Oh. Console. Uh. Is this at all useful? User guest logged on, blah blah blah. Hello, user guest. Have a nice and productive day. Thank you, console. You too. Lots of things here. Let's see which ones actually matter, though. Mutants. Here is a genetic sequence, w sequence which could be an antidote for the mutations of the patients in chambers 1 through 17. That sounds good. An antidote, okay. That sounds like what they wanted me to find, actually, the sin people, right? Wasn't that what they were looking for? The road to Duga Complex. Painted murals. Oh, I've already seen this, that's... I'm not sure how much of this is actually specific to this computer and how much is just, like, generic computer stuff. Like, the games are obviously generic. To all appearances, the fighters in the former Agropom Institute building have found something. I'm sure it is somehow related to the center of the zone. So that something the military is dug out is guarded on the second floor of the Institute building. It seems that it's all about a small white case. Snatching it right from under SBU task force nose won't be an easy task at all. They're tough fighters. Be extremely watchful. I don't know what that was talking about. Agripom research something or other? Stealing something? When you obtain the case, don't bring it to me. Get it to Barkeep. Okay. These are just movies, and these are just like scripts or something. System, 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 system... What is this? What the hell is that? Encrypted, I guess. Alright, well... See if that... Is that what I needed? Bring back the PC data to Veli's. Okay. Uh, that's that part. I still need document number two, though. Yeah, I still need document number two. Where the hell would it be? It's back somewhere where I've already been? What the hell? There are other computers, though. I mean, there's two more computers, right? There's a computer... I wonder if they have different information. There's a computer, like, right at the very beginning, when you first come in, and then there's another one deeper down. I guess I need to try that password on them? You said it's... The PDA said it's to his computer, though, not to all computers. So, like, I don't know if that would work. But I don't see anything else I can do, so let's do it. And where is that burr? He sounds so close. Okay, there's nothing down there. There's nothing around here. Like, I think that's it for this place. I believe so. Oh! Okay.
Well, that's a nasty surprise. <clears throat> Okay, I gotta go to the bottom. No ladder in here? No, there's a ladder in here. Okay. So, this should take me all the way to the top. Sweet. Hello. Alright, let's try the password here. 9231. Shit. Okay, where do you find the password for it then? I mean, what the hell? There is another computer. I suppose I could go and find it. Um, I think it's right down there, actually. I'm pretty sure you'd, like, float if you jump through here. Kinda. There we go. Oh, that one isn't operational, but this one... is. Yeah, nine two three one. Hmm. All right, I I feel like I've picked this entire place clean now that I've been to the elevator place. Like I have literally no idea where I could search. I've been an extremely thorough. At least I think I have. I'm gonna do some googling. All right, there we go. I just googled its location and found it. Yeah, I, I've spent, like, f I feel like 20 years of my life in here, and I think my hair has gone gray, so I just kind of want to leave. It's, uh, yeah, it's right here. Not sure how I missed that, actually. Huh. Okay. Let's have a little reading session here. Experiment, blah blah blah, yielded great results. Previous tests, especially the ones using batch K3, had the rats die before any profound observations could be made on a live subject. Autopsy aside. K4 batches has let rats take in the mutagen and, evol and evolve, surviving for well over a week before they died due to the shriveling effect on a living being's DNA. The results, although chaotic, has shown the many possibilities of genetic manipulation for medical and military application. At this rate, we might just move to human testing after a few more revisions to the KX concoction. They did some very, very disturbing things down here. Okay, I think I'm good. Bring back the PC data. Bring back the documents. Okay. We are done here. Thank God. I never want to come back. I like getting lost down in a lab, but not when you have to spend 40 minutes running away to get your equipment and batteries so you can actually see. Although I didn't have to do that. I could have just Googled the answer and I suppose fumbled my way through the dark. Or I suppose I... Yeah, I think if you turn up the ambient light, uh, that actually would allow you to see indoors. 0 0.25 is default. Okay, that did like nothing. Maybe you couldn't hack it that way. Although I certainly wouldn't hack it that way, even if I could. Okay, let's leave. It's kind of funny, apparently the document that people had the most trouble finding was document number three, and also document number five. I found document number three with no problem. The, the hard one for me was actually the easy one for other people. I have no idea if I'm actually going the right way. I don't think I am. Going up there doesn't go anywhere. Complete dead end. Uh, uh, if I could find the elevator shaft, I could just go straight up it. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, no. I'm right here. There. That was easy. So I, I guess the other computers and their passwords are... irrelevant? I mean, they're not needed for the quest. I... So, yeah. I do wonder, though, if they have secret stuff on them, you know? Like, maybe somewhere very far away you find their passwords. And if you come all the way back and put them in, you can find some super special stuff. Maybe you find bonus content, like a, a bloodsucker selfie. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Wow, it is... It is very, very dark. I should probably take a nap. Let's close the door. Yes, let's sleep in front of the entrance to the place where they experimented on people and made horrendous creations. That seems safe. Let's do that. God, the horrible thing is, though, now I need to bring the documents back to Velis. And the car is out of gas. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I think I'll spice it up, probably, by taking a pit stop on the way there. Oh, having a dream. A bad dream. Mm. Okay, that's better. I don't even think I need my light. For once. Hi. He's red to me, but uh, he doesn't care. So yeah, I'm going to try to stop somewhere along the way. Back to Velis. To spice it up. Because running the same way that I just drove like two or three times does not seem like fun. Unless I do something new. I love just shoving my body through small holes. No euphemism intended. Okay, take a look at where we need to go. So where's Petranko again? He's... Ah, he's back at the bar, right. Jeez. There is no quick way to do this. Go down and then all the way up. Two levels. I'm so thirsty, must drink soon. Oh, yeah, right, I slept. Let's do that. There we go. I wonder if you start taking damage if you don't do that. Thing is, I'm wondering if I go up to Petranko, maybe he's going to want me to, like, come back down below and do something here. Like, I don't know. I, I just have no way of knowing. So what do I do, go up or down? Um... Let's go down, I guess. I really want to buy a car now. Like, I really, really want to buy a car. It's going to be a long time till I save up the money for that, though. Alright, well, I have 11 energy drinks, so... Let these energy drinks sustain my body. I'll come back when I get to somewhere newish. Ah... You serve me well. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god. It's a little bit overkill, isn't it? Mr. Military Person. It shot a fucking RPG at my face. And I dodged it. Which is kind of awesome, but Jesus. Ooh, PDA. Info, and battery, and some water, which I actually kind of need. Alright, now I wish I kept my RPG ammo. Well, not really. I still have nothing to do with it, though. And he doesn't have any ammo, and I'm sure it's not loaded, because I'd like to shoot one of these back at their 
faces. <laughs> it's your lucky days. All the days. Why did the mutant cross the road? I don't know, but I shot it. Alright, let's go ahead and return his documents. You better be really, really damn grateful. I'm pretty sure that's not how you show your gratitude. What are you looking at? I don't see anything. What are you, what are you looking at? Here you go. Good job, Stalker. I'm beginning to trust you, so be glad. <laughs> I have another job for you if you want. We have heard news of a secret lab under the Rostock factory, and this lab contains documents that pertains to our problems. Oh god, not another lab! Oh no! Oh, find them for us, and we'll be indebted to you. Oh, and grab your stuff in, in that box on the shelf. I already did. <laughs> but apparently he doesn't care about the fact that I already took it. Alright, I'm on it. You don't have much money. Hmm. I want to sell my artifacts. I wonder if you like sell your artifacts to a scientist if you get more money. Just like I'm assuming you do if you sell the animal or uh, mutant parts. Yeah, you probably get a lot more money if you sell the mutant parts to a scientist. I mean, look at this. Zombie hand, 92. Hand of a burr, only 929. No way. That's worth at least 999.9. .9. Alright, so where's... Oh god, not that stupid noise. I still have no idea what that noise is. Alright, where's this factory? Here? Ah, there it is. Okay, well that's an excuse to, to go back to Cordon. Which I have not been to in a very, very long time. Uh, it does say via garbage, though. Does it really have to be through garbage? Like, why? Specifically says via garbage. Does it really have to? I mean, I guess. Alright, so I gotta go through Agroprom, huh? It's going to be a long-ass trek. Well, I need to go back to the bar first. I need to buy some batteries. I need to sell my stuff. And figure out what happens after I complete this quest as well. So I was thinking of actually going here. Because there's a lot of, like, military here. I kind of want to take them out and just see what I can find. See if I can get a pretty good haul, you know? Unfortunately, though, I'm really weighted down with stuff. Like, I've got this weapon that I really want to keep, but I'm pretty much out of ammo for it. I've got this weapon as my backup. I don't have much extra room, and these documents actually weigh quite a bit. One kilogram, half, 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 half. Like, that's a lot of weight. Not to mention all these artifacts and monster parts. Oh, hey, I've got a flash. Why don't I have that up here? Let's put that up there. There we go. Make it so I can run further. So as much as I do want to go check this out, I don't think I could gain much from it, because I don't have much room in my inventory. Like, I need to get myself down to one weapon with plenty of ammo. So I'm going to ditch that idea for now. Let's just go back to the bar to stock up on stuff and see where this quest goes. So I will be back when the next interesting thing happens. Whoa, what is this? Stop. Do you have any weapons on you? He has a grenade! Oh no. What the hell is he doing? They're gonna explode. Or... Oh. Uh, 
never mind. What the hell? This is back at the bar, by the way. Okay, that, that is a stairwell. Yes, he... He doesn't want to kill me. No one seems to have cared about what just happened. I, I can't even talk to him. What the hell? What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but I think I'm going to take all their loot and sell it downstairs. Yeah, I'm just going to take all. Oh crap, I can't even move now. Okay, too much. Too much. Too many things. How much is that worth? That is worth a lot. That is a nice gun you have. What the fuck? Do you even have a face? His skin is pure black, like coal. It looks like a mutant. Ah, damn, I'm too heavily burdened. Alright, I need to drop like one thing. Let's eat this can of food. There we go, good enough. Okay, so like nobody cares about the fact you just murdered a couple people? Alright. Perfectly normal day. Oh, shit. Hold on. Excuse me for a second. There we go. So it, it didn't just affect those people. Also affected some of these people. Alright. These people need my help. Wait. I just wait, I just give him a medkit and it did it did nothing. Okay, never mind. I am not going to be your first aid people. No. Heal yourself. What's going on here? You look a little pale. Hell if I know, there was some strange trench coat wearing guy that entered the bar not long ago and pretty much started uh, riddling the whole place with bullets. After that, he got to the back room and. shit. Petrenko fired an entire clip at the bastard and it didn't even touch him. He then knocked us down and took Petrenko's decryptor and simply walked out. It's like he was there and then a moment later he disappeared. I'm too old for this kind of stress. A decryptor? Why did he take it? I don't know, but he definitely didn't want us to know something. I'm not sure what exactly. Ask Petrenko. This better not have anything to do with what you're doing out there, Marked One. Unless it was a monolith goon, I swear that it didn't have anything to do with me. Take a deep breath and rest up. Alright, everybody good? Well, everybody but you. Wait, is he... Oh, he's dead. I'm sorry. Rest in peace, Fyodor well into now. Well into now. Well into now. It's probably not pronounced that way. <laughs> My information might well be up, use and that jackass in the court is still talking about how... I've always got something interesting for people like you. He never stops talking. Never. Never. Okay, it's time to stock up on some supplies and sell a bunch of crap. I uh, desperately ran out of... I was in desperate need of energy drinks, because I ran out like three-fourths through my journey, and oh my god, it's so slow without energy drinks. Ooh. It looks like there's multiple brands. The label reads, This drink will instantly rejuvenate your mind and body. This drink is similar to the common energy drink, but also heals you, reduces radiation somewhat, reduces hunger, and gives you more endurance. Of course it's more expensive. Of course it's a bit expensive, but the price is worth it. What? It's the same price as the energy drink. Why would I not buy it? It's the same weight and the exact same price. Okay. I'll take them all. And I will take all of your batteries. Every single one. Thank you. Okay. Let's... I guess I'm just going to sell my... 
Yeah, I don't want to wait for a scientist that I may or may not meet and may or may not pay me more for these. I'm just going to sell them. Health plus 10%. Eh, no thanks. Sell these pistols, sell a pistol ammo. Sell these weapons that I picked up. Unless I want to keep this one. But no, you still don't... He doesn't sell ammo for it. No, I'm never going to be able to use it because I just don't have ammo. Alright, let's do that for a start. And let's see where we're at. Alright, I've got 13,000. So I only need like b a bajillion times that to buy a car. Wonderful. I never use grenades. Um, I'll keep one on me just in case. You never know. They're kind of heavy though. So I really don't want to keep too many. Yeah, I'm just going to sell this ammo. That's fine. Now let me take a look at my weapons. So I'm going to sell this thing. I will keep the scope though. I'm going to keep the scope on me. No, I didn't want to drop that. Yeah, because he does sell the ammo for this gun, which is amazing. So I'm just going to buy some ammo for that and call it good on that front. Hey, come back here. What are you doing? Sell all this ammo. There we go. This is going to make me a hell of a lot lighter. And let's buy a bunch of ammo for this. I wish he sold a little bit more. That's not really all that much. Okay, anything else I want? I definitely don't want a smoke grenade. Those things are useless. At least as far as I can tell. Food and water is perfectly fine. I think I'm good. There you go, three things of AP, three things of standard rounds. Yeah. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Oh yeah, what does he pay for the body parts? That's probably not going to be much, right? Oh, I can't even sell them to him. Okay. Fair enough. Probably repair and upgrade my equipment a bit, I suppose. And I should buy energy drinks from every single person that I can. I can't stress that enough. My if there's... information might well be of use to you, Stalker. If I have any tips for people playing this game, it's buy every single energy Come drink here. you can. I've always got something interesting for people like you. My other my suggestion would be to shoot that guy so he shuts up. You, No one wants to talk to me. Oh, you do. Hello. Oh, you have nothing. You're useless. My information might well be of use to you, Stalker. Ah, yes, I put that gun there. Well, whatever, I'll leave it. Whoa. What was that? Is that food or I've always got something interesting for people like you. My information might well be of use to you, Stalker. I thought it was like an item that popped up. I've always got something interesting for people like you. My information might well be of use to you, Oh Stalker. my god, I swear I'm gonna punch you. Come here. I've always got something interesting. Alright, Patrinko. So you've had a fun day, huh? So have I. Alright, I've got your documents. Hmm, that's interesting. There are some things I already know in there, but there's new details. Veronin will be interested in those, I'm sure. There's also one encrypted file which I can't open with my current equipment, due to the little in accident Barkeep told you about. I swear, that guy has to be from Sin. The bastards will pay dearly. But anyways, the file header indicates it has something to do with the X-18 bosses. I'll try to get a new decryptor and tell you what's on there later. If I can even find a new one in this damn hole, so don't count on it. Anyways, good job, Stalker. 
All right. I discovered an old encryption system here, which they used in all labs from what I found. The last global password change was to Top Secret. Maybe you can dig in further if you like. Old encryption system. Top Secret. Was that the password to all the other computers in the X-18 lab? And not that I really want to go back there, but, you know, if I find myself in the area, maybe. Okay, I'm going to write it down. Top underscore secret. Might come in handy when I go to the Rostock factory. Thank you. By the way, here are the other docks I found in X-18. Wait, what? Do I have more? Oh, the top secret ones? Or what? Thanks, you have outdone yourself, Stalker. No problem. You're welcome. I don't know if that actually did anything. I believe it removed it from my inventory, yes, which saved me some weight, so that alone is worth it. Okay, let's repair my stuff. Oh, God, that's expensive. Alright, let's do it. And what about this baby? That is also expensive. Damn it. I'm poor. It's such a beautiful weapon, though I have to do it. In fact, I think I'm going to stick with this weapon for a long, long time. So... Perhaps I should put some upgrades into it. This one increases accuracy, and this one, I don't know what it does. It says it improves muzzle velocity and also affects accuracy, but it doesn't actually say plus anything to accuracy, so let's go with this. There we go, a little bit more accurate. Cool. Sweet. I could buy that up. Nah, I'm gonna keep a little bit of money on me. Never know when you might need it. Well, I guess I'm done here. I guess it's time to go to Rustock Factory. My information might well be of use to you, Stalker. Yeah, suppose so. Come here. Don't think there's anything else to do around here. Not really. So I gotta go back to garbage. And then take a left right here. Nope, not right there. Right here. There we go. Which should take me down this little dirt road to right about here. Dear God, look at that place. I think I'm gonna need... That's so fucking huge. I'm assuming it's gonna be... It's gonna have military there or something, so... I'm thinking I'm gonna want more ammo. I'd like a lot more ammo. Well, hopefully he gets some more in stock. Soon. Okay, well, I'm going to call this episode here. And in the next one, I will travel over to the Rustock factory. And discover what secrets those deep, dark labs hold.